guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my annual Disney ear collection. I do this video every year and I've just kind of made it a tradition. Before I start showing you my ear collection, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do a lot of random video content here and give this video a thumbs up if you like my ear collections because you guys seem to love all the ears I get and every year I get to show you new ones. Also follow me on Instagram. Starting off in no particular order, I have my millennial pink ears here and they are just full of sequins and this little puffy bow here and they're just this light pink color. Next up we have my traditional Minnie Mouse ears, just the black ears with the sequin bow that's red. I love these. You can never go wrong with the traditional ears with any outfit. They go with everything so I just think they're a staple to have in your collection. Then we have these cruise ears. I got these on the Disney cruise when I went in December of 2019. It was the last cruise I have been on since COVID and it's just so sad. Like I don't even know when cruises are going to become a thing again, but I'm really happy that I got these. They have the rose gold pink ear fabric with the little anchor bow. It's puffy and it has these little anchors with Mickey Mouse on them. Next we have my food and wine ears and I absolutely love these. The concept is just adorable. Obviously the color reminds me of red wine and the little grapes here they're like little squishy little grapes and the little cork bow just the whole theming of these ears is adorable and these actually have the date on them so it says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2020 on the side and then it says taste your way around the world on the other side. Next we have the 2020 ears and since my mom works at Disney we got a really good deal on these so she got them for me for Christmas I think. Um, they just have 2020 on the side. They're blue with a puffy bow made of sequins and I'm not really a huge fan of like the glitter like this type of ear like it's not like the puffy soft it's more like a rigid leather material. I don't know definitely not like my favorite pair but they were on sale and they're just kind of fun to add to my collection. Next up are my newest pair of ears and they are these Art of Animation collection ears. Um, my mom surprised me with these. They just came in the mail and I think they're adorable. They remind me of the restaurant animators palette on the Disney cruise ships. So I definitely like take these to wear probably if we go on another cruise anytime. Um, but they have this really long tag. Um, but I think they're the Art of Animation or they're just like the animation collection. I really don't know. They they have the little paint brushes and then this little palette here and the little drawings of the characters which is really really cute. Then we have my rose gold ears and these actually broke as you can see like they're really like limp and that's because the headbands Disney used to use were like so hard and they would give me headaches so I was like literally playing with the ears like trying to loosen up the headband and they just snap. So honestly I should throw these away but I don't want to because eventually I maybe could fix them and they are the original ears. Uh, the original rose gold ears when they were like super rare. So I really like this design. I'm sad that they got like new rose gold ears. The new ones are kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Um, but these are just so cute and that's what they look like. Next I have my California ears. I got these when we went to Disney's California Adventure and that was such a good vacation. I absolutely love the California parks. I really wish I could go back sometime soon. It was just such a memorable trip and these are some of the ears I got and they're just so cute. So these aren't really ears, but it is this slinky dog headband and I love this thing. Uh, we went to MGM and this is when like slinky dog just came out and I just think the concept of this is really cute and his little tail like you can stretch it out. I don't know. I've always been a fan of slinky dog and that's one roller coaster I will actually ride in the parks. Next up is baby Yoda headband. I don't even know if this is considered ears. Maybe it is because he has some ears here. But again, my mom got this for me as like a surprise because um, there was a sale online and <laughs> I guess she thought that like I would like these for my collection. I can't complain because Baby Yoda is so cute and I guess this really adds to my collection because it's, you know, Baby Yoda ear in ear form. Um, but yeah, this is what he looks like. Seems pretty comfortable. Very like squishy. Next we have my classic silver ears. This goes with any outfit and I 
definitely love these things. The headband does kind of give me a headache just because they are an older version of ears, but I can't complain. They're really cute. Next up, we have my hot pink ears, and these are really cute because they're kind of like iridescent, and they're like hot pink, and I got them with my friend when we went to Disney Springs, and we had such a good day just like talking, laughing, going to the boathouse for a drink, so um, I definitely love these just for like the memories. Next up are my gingerbread ears. My mom also got these for me, I think last year, and this one's kind of like, a little loose there that's kind of weird Ooh, but yeah I just think they're really cute and the headband is really comfortable and I love gingerbread like gingerbread is so good next up these are not Disney brand or anything I got them at Party City but they're just like traditional mouse ears I just feel the need to share them every year so they made it in this video next up we have my purple ears and I love these just because they were supposed to be like rare or whatever but they're actually not I think that's so funny I really like the bow because it has this iridescent touch to them which makes them a little bit different than the other ears next up we have my candy corn ears I love these because the candy corns are like puffy and they have like sequins on them. I love these because they also have um, the comfortable headband and it says I'm just here for the candy on the side here. Honestly, I feel like these are the only Halloween ears I really need. I also have the matching shirt which goes with these which says I'm just here for the candy. Next up we have my Mickey bar ears and I think these are adorable just because of the color scheme. I love the brown, the pink, the white, the little bite taken out of it. I think the concept of these are just so so cute. The next pair of ears I have are these candy ears. Um, they're hard plastic and they just look like this. These are probably my least favorite and I don't know why I even got them. I thought they were really cute when I first saw them and then I'm like, eh, I don't know how I feel about these things. Overall, I like the candy in the middle. I think that's really cute as like the little bow. Next, I have these rose gold ears I got from a subscriber. Um, they are really puffy and I think they're made by Play It By Ears. You can check my other videos because I've shared these with you guys like a million times, but they just look like this and the headband is really comfortable and they're made really really well so a plus to the person who made these because they have held up for so long next up we have my Epcot ears and I absolutely love these because the ears are like the Epcot ball and the bow is the bubble gum wall if you guys don't know where the bubble gum wall is it's at the exit of spaceship earth which is the big ball ride so i just literally like these because of the theme again disney has done such a great job with their theming um with the ears next we have my red ears and i absolutely love this color the shade of red i think it really stands out and it's just really cool like whenever i saw these i was like i definitely need them because i feel like they would go so well with like my hair being like a darker color now and just they're like a statement i don't know it's just one of those things that i was really drawn to these because of the color i don't know why and last but certainly not least are my gold alex and annie ears these were from a collaboration from the disney designer collection and i'm really happy i got these uh, my mom actually got a discount on these plus i had this gift card so these only ended up being like 30 dollars for me and i don't know it's just one of those things where I love these and I honestly should wear them more often when I go to the parks but I just don't because I forget I don't know they kind of just stay in their little bag here but I'm glad I got to wear them on the cruise and I always get compliments when I wear them they are just so pretty and I'm glad I got them so that my friends is going to be it for this Disney ears collection I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments which pair was your favorite and what is your dream pair of ears I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!